Hello, 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 hello. You? Welcome back to another video. Today I will be trying on lip glosses and I will be over explaining everything I do. So there are a plethora <laughs> of lip glosses and a lip balm and lipstick and I'm going to make some lovely, lovely mouths out for you to get some shut eye. So without further ado, let's get started. So I've got my assortment here. I'm just going to start with something to prep my lips. So I have a lip balm. This is from The Body Shop and it is Hemp Heavy Duty Lip Care. So I'm just going to open it. It's going to apply it. Now I'm just putting this on to prep my lips. Prep my lips. Expert care for ultra dry lips. So I'll just pop that down. So now that my lips are prepared, we can begin. So the first lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss, is this one. It is called, the name is just Glimmer, and it is a Shimmer Balm Lip Gloss with Vitamin E, and it's from Revolution, if you're wondering. That's a magic trick, by the way. <laughs> so I've just got a mirror up here, so I'm just gonna look at it. It's very nice, it's very subtle. It's not really coloured. It's just got a hint of glitter, as you can see here. The name is very fitting. So it's got a rose gold lid, lid, lid and it's baby pink with flecks of iridescent glitter. And I really like it, and it smells. Mm, it doesn't really have a scent. Scent. But it's not unpleasant. So I'm just going to tap the lid. I'm just going to apply another bit. Next is going to be this one right here. It's 
This is Lip Lustra and it says it's from 17. The colour of this is called Queen of Diamonds. So this one's darker than the last one, it's more of a, I don't know, just a generic pink I'd say. But if you look up close, I don't know if you can see or if it will focus, but it has also got little iridescent glitters and silver glitters. And it says on the back, fabulous long lasting glossy colour for lips. It's time to buck up. So I'm just gonna open it, open it. This doesn't make it that much of a There we go. Okay, so let's just apply. Not a lot that comes out on the applicator though. Too bad I don't have bigger lips to do this with. <laughs> so, this one's, as you can see, more tinted. And I quite like the subtlety because it's not too dark, but it's also not too obvious, if that makes sense. I'm not sure, but I do like it. And again, this one is unscented. Moving on, I'm going to just take this off so that I can put on this lipstick. So just wipe that away real quick. Get my hair out of it. There we go. So this one is a very, very bright. So yeah, it's really, really bright, really bright. And it says sleek makeup. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, reflects sleek makeup. So I'm just tapping the case and tapping the case and tapping, 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 tapping the case. So this is Lip VIP Semi Matte Lipstick. And the shade is called Dream Decade. I've actually never used this lipstick before because I mean it literally looks like a highlighter I'm like mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's brand new you can see like it's still got the dent so god <laughs> so I'm going to apply I'm not very This is not my style. Okay, we're not going to talk about how that looks on me. I have very pale skin, so this does not do me any favours. But you know, if I ever 
never need to dress up as someone that wears bright lipstick. I'll be right on that. <laughs> really bright colour on. I'm just going to go over it with my, this is one of my favourite lip glosses. I'm just tapping the case and tapping the case and tapping, tapping the case. Tapping the case. It's very pretty because it's got a gold ring around the black lid. But this is a sort of a medium slash pinky red I'd say but it's also glittery it's a running factor <laughs> and this one is called Rouge Cocoa Gloss and it's made as you probably would have guessed in France Chanel I didn't even know it was from Chanel wow. this is definitely my mum's <laughs> she probably gave it to me like years ago I um, so Where is it? I love those noises Oh, doing well by the way. Okay, I'm just gonna set that down again. I'm going to use some tissue again to wipe this off. Wipe it away. Clear. use it a lot. My lips look so pink. <laughs> <clears throat> so this is more of a nude colour. It's kind of a beige-ish pink. If you see what I mean, it's less pow like the other ones. It's got a black lid and the colour is called Let's 
see how it's less um, out there, I guess. It's like more natural and it's a nice accompaniment to when you've got eyeshadow on because it doesn't take away. I mean, I know it looks really pink right now, but that's just because my lips have had that lipstick on. But it's usually much more muted. And this one tastes really nice. I don't think it's got a scent, but it just... The mixture just... I don't know, it's more pleasing. And to go over this, we have the last lip gloss, which I've saved for the last because of how dark it is. <laughs> so I'm just going to tap it. So this is Iconic London, and it's a burgundy dark purplish colour, like a berry, berry colour, kind of like my nails, oh, it actually looks just like my nails in the camera, and then it's got a gold, sorry, gold lid, and the colour is slightly PG, so I will not be saying it, but I'll say the end of it, kitten, <laughs> and it is a lip plump, plumping gloss. So it's one of the like minty ones that um, plumps up your lips. So it kind of tingles. It smells minty. It smells kind of like medicine. <laughs> so. I said it's very dark, it's very dark. Oh, I don't like appalling. <laughs> Sorry, this must be so difficult. that down carefully. So I hope you have all enjoyed this video and that you've all 
relaxed. If you have any more suggestions, leave them in the comments and good night.